if you've been on offthehooksports.com, you know that Tennessee is pretty darn confident. And that carries through the head coach, Amanda. It is something that I don't think is in any way con- contrived, like the flip side of it, where coaches try to sometimes hide confidence and they're always worried about providing bulletin board material. I think that's who this team is. And I think that's a good thing. If you're going to play the way they play and you have to depend on big plays and you know that sometimes you're going to drop balls and go through scoring droughts, you have to have confidence to go out there and continue to snap and clear, make big plays. And that's who this team is. Yeah, it is who this team is. It's it's been who this team, you know, has been this season. We haven't seen our typical Tennessee team. We haven't seen a team that that has doubts, you know, we've seen that in the past with other coaches. You can tell when the players have doubts in themselves. You can tell when they just know that it's not going to work out, but they they put on a brave face. We haven't seen this from this Tennessee team. I believe this Tennessee team thinks that they can go out here and win every game. And who's to say they can't? Yeah, I I go back to Butch Jones had all this contrived thing. I don't know if you remember that he said that that red team to the south or he had some reference. Well, that just made Alabama fans, Alabama's team mad, and they put up signs in the locker room and they ended up pounding Tennessee. There's just nothing contrived. I think Tennessee's confident and maybe maybe a little overly confident for where they are in the rebuilding of this program. But you would take that as opposed to the latter. Good morning to you, Crazy. Uh, Crazy says, Amanda, good job on the press conference audio. uh, Better than even the official Tennessee Athletics page. So that's all Amanda. She handles that. She uh, with all the press conference audio. It's amazing how she's able to balance that. It comes with a long history of working in the audio field, and we greatly appreciate that. So a lot to get to, a lot to get to, as Tennessee now just a two and a half point favorite. The line has moved another point, maybe even three or four points, depending on who you believe, because there were some people that said at first it was four and a half to five and a half, then it settled at three and a half on Sunday night, and now as of this morning, I just checked, it was two and a half. You're more of a gambling person than me. I'm not laying money on it. I'm not saying that anybody should lay money on it, but what do you read into the line moving to two and a half now? I Two and a half, I read into it that people are giving LSU a lot more credit for that really close win that they just had where basically – Auburn kind of defeated themselves. So people are giving LSU a lot more credit. And maybe it's because of the way that Auburn and Missouri played. And then Missouri played so close to Georgia. And I know that's kind of a six ways to Kevin Bacon kind of thing. But I just, I don't think that the, the general population has trust in this Tennessee team just yet. But I think they will. I think they will. So I'm not sure what the Alabama Tennessee line is or the Georgia Tennessee line is right now. But if I were Tennessee fans or anybody in general betting on this, I would take hands down. I would go take those lines right now in favor of Tennessee before they blow out LSU. And then here we are. The six ways to Kevin Bacon, it's so funny that you say that. My son said, we're just one person removed from Theo Vaughn now with Jacob Warren. (laughs) And it was was a little little bizarre. Uh, We've reached out to Theo to try to get him to talk about the Tennessee game in which he dumped Gatorade on Josh Heupel. We have not had any luck there. Hit that subscribe button. I still want to remind you that Only 20% of our viewers, I can show you the analytics, uh, have actually subscribed. So like, subscribe, and share. We would greatly appreciate it. And Go ahead and give us some thoughts on the message board, what you think of Tennessee's confidence. Because I will say this, it might not bite them in the rump, but they're probably overly confident, maybe a little too confident, but that's cool. I mean, that's... Uh, I would rather it be that than be insecure. So go out there. And when I say they're overly confident, they they feel like they have 
the confidence of an 11 or 12 win team when they're probably a nine or 10 win team. So no knocks on my end. I'm just saying that um, I don't think it'll affect their play. Uh, and I love it, quite frankly. So no knocks on my end whatsoever. Okay, yesterday, uh, Tennessee met with the media. Warren Burrell, defensive back, out for the season. That's certainly a blow in, I would argue, Tennessee's um, worst position right now in the defensive backfield. Cedric Tillman did have the tightrope surgery. surgery. That was confirmed, and he was on the practice field, but very limited. I don't think he plays against LSU, Amanda. Does he play against Alabama? That would be – that would mark a month. From the injury, and we've seen Tua Tonga Viola in college come back in less than a month once, and then 28 days another time. So it wouldn't stun me if he ran out there, but on Saturday against LSU, but I don't think that that's going to happen. That's just my hunch. It would stun me if he ran out against LSU. We saw Tennessee play Florida. We saw not that they didn't. Honestly, you want Cedric Tillman always. You want to be able to have him, you know, whenever you can. He's a great wide receiver. You want that option. You don't need him. And that's something that Tennessee hasn't been able to say on a dynamic player like Cedric Tillman. They've needed every single player all the time. This wide receiving core is is pretty good. I mean, not pretty good. They're They're one of the best, I think, in the nation. So you don't need Cedric Tillman to win this game. You'd like to have him, but you don't need him. So I would sit him for this game. I would let him take some more time to recover from this injury, from the surgery. And I know it's not that big of a surgery. It's just basically precautionary. It's it's something to just get the blood flowing through, like, to the feet. Because Tua had to have it as well, as you pointed out. I would sit him. I think any coach would sit him. <clears throat> I don't think you – tell the media you're going to sit him. No. So maybe no. that's why we're going like, well, maybe he'll play. He's not playing. It, Against Alabama, I think we'll see him. LSU, this, LSU, no. If this were an SEC championship game or national championship game, I think there's a really good chance he would run out there because it would be 21 days. But still, that would be pushing it. Uh, I, Tua uh, Tungvalu was able to return – uh, in a 21 day period, but everybody's different to point to one guy. And I'm sure other guys have had this surgery and it's been six weeks. So every, every single ankle sprain is different. So I don't want to play doctor. I'm not that, but I did stay at a holiday Inn last night.